Hello friends. I'm going to bring up this subject because I keep getting phone calls literally every day from people wanting to know if they can get their criminal records expunged. And the word expungement means removed literally from the public database, court records, things like that. Arizona currently does not have an expungement statute. We do have a statute that allows you to apply to the court to set aside your conviction and set aside the sentencings and the judgment, assuming all the fines are paid and you've done your jail time, and to, and it doesn't remove it from the public record, but it changes the notation next to your conviction, if you will, and it should say, if it's done properly, um, conviction set aside. It also gives a restoration of your civil rights if it's a felony, so you get your right to vote back. And if you're at the same time applying for that, you can actually apply for your st state's gun rights back. The county attorney's office here in Maricopa County, at least, never used to oppose these applications, and now they are doing it, especially if you ask for your gun rights. Why they're doing it, I don't know, but the biggest issue, at least it seems for my clients as to wanting to get this done, is because they're attempting to rent an apartment, and with a felony conviction, or any kind of a conviction, a lot of these apartment management companies are not allowing you to sign a lease. So, the application, really doesn't have much of an effect as far as what I've heard, what my clients have told me, and hopefully there's a bill, I understand, before Governor Ducey where we could then eventually have your conviction expunged, meaning nobody can see it. And also, too, by the way, even if you have your conviction set aside, it's still there for purposes of a prior conviction. So if you were found guilty of, let's say, I think this is a hypothetical, aggravated assault, and I get it set aside, and you even get your gun rights back. That might be a small miracle, but you get your gun rights back at the same time. But you pick up another felony down the road, that could be used as a prior. It's still there for police agencies and the prosecutors to see it. So, it doesn't really have a practical effect. Only if the person that's reading it understands what you've done. If they don't, then as far as they're concerned, you still have a conviction, whether it's a misdemeanor or a felony. And Felonies are probably more serious, obviously, when it comes to renting an apartment, but if you have a domestic violence conviction as a misdemeanor, that will still probably keep you from renting an apartment or a house. I hope you understand that. Thank you. This posted video is in no way specific legal advice on any subject. It is intended to provide general information for the public. If you need specific legal advice, call Chuck at 480-545-0700.